What's up everybody? Today I am going to be reviewing a game called 1313 Dead End Drive. This game was created in 2002. It's for two to four players and it's by Parker Brothers. Now, this game is a sequel to a game that was made earlier called 13 Dead End Drive. And the rules are sort of similar but they're also different. The object of this game is that you are trying to make it out of the house with the most of a share of an inheritance that the owner of the house is giving. Uh, there's about 16 characters in this game, each of which are trying to get out with as much money as possible. However, you do have a couple of things going against you. Number one, your opponents are going to be trying to kill off your characters so they can get some more money. And number two, you are trying to figure out a way to get your characters out while at the same time possibly bluffing your opponents into killing some characters that may not be yours. So this game has got a little bit of deduction in it, it has a little bit of bluffing in it, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how this game works. Check it out! Okay, so I have the game set up over here, and I'm just going to kind of show you some of the components. Right here are all the cast of characters that are in Aunt Agatha's Will, and these are the ones that are going to be trying to run out with the money. Uh, right here you have your air cards. Everybody is going to be getting a certain amount of these air cards, and whichever air card you have, those are going to be the people that you're going to be trying to get out of the house and, with the money. These are cards that you're going to be drawing anytime you get one of the characters onto one of these trap spaces. There's this space here, this here, the fireplace, the boar, and then the safe. Um, you're going to draw these cards in attempting to try to see if you can kill them off. However, there are a lot of cards on here that are not going to kill those characters off, and I'll show you some of them here, as you can see. And I'll explain what these cards do here in a little bit. Now, the way this game works is everybody is going to get a certain amount of air cards. If there's a two-player game, I believe everybody gets six, and then there's about four that are left over to the side that nobody knows what they are. So here are my six. I've got Beauregard, i got Smothers, i got Madame Astra, Pugsley, Pierre, and Parker. So for me, these are the characters that I'm going to try to want to get out of this house. So here's the way movement works. You've got two dice over here, and you're going to go ahead and start rolling the dice. Now, you can go ahead and move one character six and another one one. So now I have to make a decision. Do I want to move my character or do I want to try to move one of my opponent's characters? You may want to decide to move one of your opponent's pieces and try to kill them off. That's part of a strategy that you can do. Or you can try to see if you can get one of your people out. But the thing is, if people start to catch on that you're trying to get that character out, they may try to kill them. So there's a little bit of uh, bluffing and strategy that goes on with this game. So I've got Parker over here, so let me look and see if I can find her. And let's say I want to try to get her out of the house. So I'm going to go ahead and move one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can move another person one. So I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can move somebody that I don't own towards one of these traps over here. So I'll go ahead and choose this person, Charity. So I'll move her one. And then my turn ends. Now let's say I roll doubles. If you roll doubles, you have a choice. You can either move one character the full amount shown on the dice, or you can split it up. So let's go ahead and say we're playing the game and I've got Charity over here in one of these trap spaces. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and draw a uh, card over here. There are different cards in this game that will activate the traps. We have the boar's head or armor card. This will activate the boar's head over there or the armor over here. Um, this will activate the safe or the stairs, and there, etc. Now there's other cards here. Uh, there's one called Run For It that will allow you to roll one die extra on your turn and try to make a run forward the door or just try to move the character further over. There's some cards that will move you to different parts of the room, like the parlor room, the vault room, the trophy room, and the art room, so you can move different people around. Now you can also hold on to these cards. You don't have to play them if you don't want to. And you can also play one like card here to kill off your opponent, and then plus just one card that's not a killer card, but it's just a card that you can use to move somebody around or to help your character. So let's say I went ahead and I got her on there and I happened to draw um, this card right here, the fireplace or armor card. I have the armor over here, so I can go ahead and knock her out. Now I'm going to show you this. This is this has all the characters on it, and each character here, as you see, has a one million dollar bag. What's going to happen is anytime you kill off a character, their bag is going to move on to the next person. So since I just killed Charity off, her bag is going to go over here to Smothers. Now, if I was holding on to the Smothers card, and I think I am, whoops. I might want to try to see if I can get some others towards the door and get out because if I am, I'm going to end up with $2 million. Or I might try to see if I can kill the next person here, which is Clay. If I don't own Clay, another strategy might be to kill off Clay and try to collect his money as well. There are also these secret passages over here that you can move to. If you get to a secret passage, it counts as one spot. So let's say I, move, I roll a four. I can go one, two, and that will be two. And then I can move either here or here or here. And so that would be three and four. 
this would be a good idea just in case I wanted to try to get to a trap or try to move somebody out of the way. There's a lot of different strategies here. The game is going to end when somebody ends up drawing this card, the clock strikes midnight. When this is drawn, the game will end. Everybody will end up counting up all of their money pieces, and whoever has the most is going to end up winning the game. The game will also end when one person gets all of his characters out, or all the other characters have been killed off and there's only one person left standing. Ah, I just died, I died. Yeah, 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 you died. Shut up. You're not supposed to talk, you're dead. Here's the stairs. Ah! Here's the fireplace. And of course, here's the boar's head. I think you just do that. And then, of course, you have the safe, which I like. It has this piggy bank in here that kills the guy off. And this is how you play 1313 Dead End Drive.